so it is December 31st and I'm just sitting here chilling just had some food earlier yeah I had some food earlier and um I had some food earlier, and um, I'm just chilling. Um, I just wanted to get on YouTube because I just wanted to give people, my subscribers, an update on what I've been doing. Um, I just been chilling. My holidays was okay. I really ain't did it for Christmas. Um, but I did get out the house. I went to my mom's house. watched my niece and little cousins and there. And everybody opened their presents. Um. Chill at my mom's house for a few days. Um, then came back. I actually came back yesterday. Um, but it was chilling. I mean, like, my mom helped me get out all day. Um, we, I chilled at her house, watched cable, chip, played on the top, played on my phone. Um, everything was okay. Um, I mean, like, things could have been better, but it was okay. Um, but I know, I've just been slacking with this whole YouTube shit. I mean, like, I want to get more subscribers. I want to get a lot more views. I want people commenting and stuff like that, but I've just been slacking. To be honest, it's just been a lot going on. And I mean, like, sh with this whole YouTube shit, shit's pissed me the fuck off because, like, um, I was just, like, when I was in my mom's house, my sister came by. And she was talking to my cousin about shit. And I'm just over it. Like, with the whole YouTube thing, it's like, I'm not about to sit here and be in competition with no fucking body. Because, like, it pissed me off, but I just decided not to say nothing because she feel like I'm jealous of her because she started her channel after me. And got more subscribers than me. And got more people liking her her content and shit than me. And I'm just over it. I'm getting sick of time motherfuckers just saying shit. Like I'm supposed to be jealous of them. And I'm supposed to be hating on them. And shit like that. Like it's fucking irritating. I don't have to fucking hate on nobody. I do what the fuck I do. Y'all, I mean they do what the fuck they do. Like, and it's really fucking petty because, like, first of all, it is, I mean, it's not nothing to fucking hate about. It's fucking true. I had a fucking, I had several YouTube channels way before my sister even thought about making a fucking YouTube channel. And I personally believe that she got her fucking idea of making a YouTube channel because of me. She probably wouldn't ever fucking give a fuck or even care about making a YouTube channel. Until I tell her that I had one and how I was doing my YouTube videos. My sis ain't really give a fuck about no goddamn YouTube. She didn't. So anybody can motherfucking make them lies. Ain't nobody give a fuck about doing no motherfucking YouTube channels until people start realizing I was doing the goddamn YouTube channel. And I ain't done plenty of videos before she even thought about doing the fucking YouTube channel. I have, I have about, like, three different fucking channels. And all you got to do is search up Damian Moody, and you'll see the fucking channels I had that got fucking videos. Ever since I was in school, 
talking about shit I was going through in school. So yeah, she got her fucking. I mean, she got her fucking fan base from doing Kanika Jenkins videos and shit like that, and talking to other people who do videos and going through Facebook and whatever the fuck else she do. The thing was, yes, I did guest broadcast on her channel. My the content I was putting on her channel really ain't had much to do with Kanika Jenkins. There were times that she was telling me about certain sh- shit that was going on, and I made certain con- comments, but to be honest, I really ain't give a fuck about the whole that shit. That's not nothing I do. I'm not no detective. I can't ever solve my own goddamn problems, so how the hell am I going to sit around and solve somebody else's, especially when, they, when that shit was located? In a whole nother goddamn city and state. I'm not from Chicago. i never been to Chicago. I don't know anybody in no damn Chicago. Except for a few celebrities. Well, I don't know in person. But I mean like I'm listening to their music. Or the case may be. But um. That's just how I feel. I never was part of the whole J4K shit. The only reason why I started hearing comment on a lot of JFK shit is other than other than the fact that my sister was telling me about it, and I spoke my opinion on some of this shit. But to be the fuck honest, the only reason why a lot of people felt like I that I was being disrespectful towards JFK and all that shit like that that my sister was doing on our channel. Is because I, I didn't give a fuck about it. It's none of my business, none of my concern. I really ain't give a fuck. And a lot of the and the majority of the motherfucking stories people was telling, I didn't fucking believe. So I spoke my opinion. A lot of people was mixing their stories up. Then like a lot of them motherfuckers be picking on certain family members, and stalking people Facebook pages and all the other crazy shit they've been doing. That shit was irritating. So I spoke my opinion about it. And while I was guest bro- while I was guest broadcasting with my sister and I was on her channel doing my own thing, dancing around, acting goofy and shit like that. And most of the time when she do her videos, speaking her opinion about the goddamn family and telling everybody business and all that shit that she does on her fucking channel. Um, I only got on her channel because she was asking me to. Every, like, I, even with that fucking video she did, when, the, the video she got on her channel, he say bitch in every sentence. I didn't fucking give her permission to record. But I guess she, she thought it was fucking funny, so she did, so every time me and my brothers used to fucking argue, if she had phone in the camera, she had turned it the fuck on. And that's how the fucking he say bitch in every sentence video happened. And with that video, one of the, her first fucking video on that goddamn channel, with that video, the reason why me and my brother was arguing is because, like, they used to fuck, like, they used to be fucking bored. I, I, like, they had many fucking problems. It probably was they wanted something from my mom and she didn't give, give it to them. And I was getting the SSI checks, so maybe they was goddamn jealous. Or, I don't fucking know, like, it was, they had so many other fucking problems, so, majority of the goddamn time, when they couldn't get what they wanted, they was fucking bored, they had find ways to get under my motherfucking skin. And what made it worse is the fact that they would do it most of the time when people was there, like, if my sister was there, and sometimes they'd do it if my older brother was there, and shit like that, because they knew that they was going fucking laugh and find the shit fucking funny, that I got these two younger fucking brothers disrespecting me and trying to fucking fight me. And majority of it was fucking gay bashing and because of my sexuality and what the fuck I chose to do. And because they was goddamn mad that I was getting money for my SSI check and they used to do stupid shit so my mom would fucking take her time with it, giving them money or giving or buying them shit. I don't know. But um that's a whole nother video, but anyway, um, I mean, not a whole nother video, but a whole nother situation, but anyway, so like I said, my sister was doing the jfication so much on her channel, she kept asking me 
she kept asking me to get on her channel, and when I do certain videos, she kept trying, she kept trying, the truth is, she was getting fucking more subscribers than me, so, she's trying to fucking use my videos, kept begging me, begging me, begging me to, to, uh, for me to give her some of my videos to put on her channel, and I felt like she was only begging me to put my videos on her channel, so she can try to fucking make me feel like I was getting clout off of her, and then she'd get mad, because I told her, I, I want my own YouTube channel, I don't want to, I don't want nobody having me feel like that I need them for any goddamn thing, y'all do y'all shit on y'all fucking channel, and I do my shit on mine, now if y'all want me, if you want me to guest broadcast on your channel, and because you keep on fucking telling people your fucking life, your so-called life story, whatever the case may be, and majority of the time my name kept getting fucking mentioned, of course I'm going to motherfucking channel, and of course I'm going to tell people the fucking truth. If I don't agree with a lot of the shit that she's going, that she was saying, I'm going to tell people the truth. He really feels on her channel or my channel. Another fucking problem I had with being on my sister's channel is because around the time I was on my sister's channel, I was going through a lot of shit with my um cousin and her baby father. I was in Delaware and I was with my one of my cousins and her and her uh family, her baby father, their children, um the baby father mother and the baby father brother. So I was down there with them because me and the baby father was cool. He done all my tattoos. I met him through Facebook, and me and my cousin be and we started becoming real close after like around like somewhat after my um my father's funeral. Like the year after, like the year after he passed away, um, me and her started talking on Facebook and become real close. Um. So, my sister, she, like, she would do stupid shit. Like, I, she didn't, like, like, it's like this. I would, she would want me to get on her channel and do some content, like, do videos on her channel. So, I thought about giving it a try. Like, I'm not about to give you none of my own videos that I'm going to put on my channel, but I get on your channel and talk. Or dance around her at Goofy. So, there were times where she would want me to get on her motherfucking channel and talk. And because I'll bring up a lot of the goddamn shit I was going through. Which was mainly shit that was happening in Delaware. She ain't want to hear it. Or she, like, she would have her own opinion about certain shit. And it would piss me off. You want me to get on your channel to give your channel some of my own content. Let me do me. Don't interrupt me. Don't try to switch my story around and, and tell what you think happened. Because at the end of the motherfucking day, you wasn't there. And the truth is, there were times, like one time we were supposed I don't think the video uploaded on her channel. But there's a video we were supposed to do where I was talking about what was going No, actually, it was alive and P was in the live, but I think I deleted it. And there was one time we were supposed to be on her fucking channel. And I was in, getting in a discussion about what was going on in my life and what's going and what happened with the whole Delaware with some of the Delaware situations that I was in. And while I was in the middle of conversation, she tried to make it seem like I was messing around my with my um. She tried to make it seem like I was messing around with my cousin's husband and all this other crazy shit. Like, she tried to make it seem like there was some type of relationship going on. And me and him did something together. And all this other crazy shit. And it was pissing me the fuck off. So, I snapped the fuck out. And I guess she felt like that. It was a, it was funny for people to be talking shit about me in the comment section. And this is the shit that she found uh, funny. She used to, she told me that her fucking subscribers was on my channel telling her that some of my videos was starting to sound like hers and I was copying off her content and all this other crazy shit. 
And like it was a lot of shit. Ira did a video after she had she was in the other room. Like when we both were still living in North Philly. Um, she was in the other room talking to one of her little friends on the phone, talking about me. Tell, telling their friend that was on the phone about how she felt like I was jealous of her and how her subscribers was telling me telling her that I was stealing their her content and not, and my videos started to sound like hers and all this other shit and like she just said a lot of goddamn shit. At the end of the motherfucking day, I don't have to lie about nothing. The, like when it comes to that situation, me and that boy never fucking did nothing. Nothing ever motherfucking happened. Me and him was fucking friends. Yes, I'm gay. Yes, he's straight. Me and him was goddamn friends. I met him through Facebook. Like, yeah, that's my cousin's baby father. I was talking to her. I met him through Facebook. Him and her was going through some shit. So I met him through Facebook. Just randomly adding people. And... We started talking. He was telling me about his life. I mean, how he grew up. And the shit he was going through with my cousin and her father and her grandmother and all this other crazy shit. Just telling me his side of the story. And, and uh, like, around the time, him and my cousin was separated. Um, I'm not going to get too much into detail. But him and my cousin was separated for whatever reason personal reasons, and he would, I mean, he would just want to get back with her, whatever the case may be, so he was telling me his side story and telling me all the shit that was going on, so I started sharing my life, sharing shit that I went through, and we became friends, we would talk almost every day, um, he would reach out to me, I reach out to him, shit like that. I told my cousin that we was cool and that I was talking to him. We all had our conversations together. Somehow they ended up getting back together. By two th- like around like, sometime in 2015. Then eventually, like she told me he do. T- I mean he done tattoos and I seen a few pictures or whatever and seen some of the tattoos that he done on her. So, I was like, okay, how much he charging? They told me the price. I was like, cool, maybe one day I'll go down there and get a tattoo or whatever. And that's what the fuck happened. Um, But it's just like a lot of motherfucking shit that was said on YouTube and a lot of shit that was said off of YouTube that I wasn't cool with. I didn't agree with it. It was just like a lot of shit that fucking bothered me. Um, and a lot of shit that happened. that, but Not just shit that was said. Shit that happened that fucking bothered me. So, I really had, like, I really, like, I used to try to do videos back to back to back. Especially when I had a goddamn laptop. And I could do shit like that. Do regular videos and do, and also do live videos. I try to do videos back to back to back, just dropping videos, dropping videos, dropping videos. But sometimes my like the phones I had would take forever for the videos to download. The laptops and the Wi-Fi and the data I was using would make the make the videos take forever for me to download. The camera lighting wasn't right. I don't have a backdrop. I don't have the professional cameras everybody use. I don't have none of that shit. I even thought about putting my cash app, PayPal and shit like that on, on my YouTube channel, seeing if some of my subscribers could help out. Because I can't do all that shit by myself. I don't know what's the right cameras to get, what's the right backdrops to get, and everything else to get that make my videos professional and look like everybody else's videos so I could get more subscribers, get more likes, get more comments, have a lot more people on my live broadcast. But my sister did whatever the fuck she did. The only reason why she got her content is because 
she had a lot more people who was doing the same content as her, saying the same shit that she was saying in her videos. Sharing the same video she was sharing in her videos. And they all got together. She watched their videos. They watched her videos. And whatever the hell happened, happened. And when I started getting her goddamn videos, some people liked what I was giving. Some people didn't. And there were times that I had to beef with certain goddamn people. Because people were stealing videos. People were stealing content. People was putting, their sh- putting shit on SoundCloud. And all types of shit. People was fucking catfishing my profile. Stealing my fucking name. Posting my address. Hacking through my Facebook, my Twitter. uh, All types of shit. I couldn't really fucking do nothing because people from f- was hacking through my YouTube. People was hacking through my YouNow account. My fr- like all types of fucking social media accounts I had. And this is the shit that she fucking found funny because she felt like that I was jealous of her YouTube channel because she got thousands of subscribers and I only and I only was in the hundreds. Well, it's just a lot going on, so hopefully I can get back to y'all. I'm going to continue trying to do videos, trying to put out good content. Um, so, happy holidays. Happy New Year. Um, I got, I probably got some videos coming up soon on this phone state situated um I'll talk to y'all later